Hey everyone, Nicholas JMV. We're going to be evaluating inverse trig functions today. So I've already introduced trig functions to you. And the big thing that you're going to be doing here is now looking for angle measures, okay? We're going to be looking for angle measures. And the first example I have for you, we're going to evaluate the inverse trig function. So we have inverse sine of root 2 over 2. So what that's saying is what's the angle measure that gives me root 2 over 2. So what I'm thinking of is I'll just rewrite my equation or my expression, excuse me. So inverse sine of root 2 over 2. Okay, I, that needs to equal an angle measure. I know that sine of pi over 4, that positive, that, that, that first angle, okay, is equal to root 2 over 2. So there is my answer. Okay, sine of pi over 4. So my first answer here is pi over 4, and that's it. The angle measure that gives me a sine of root 2 over 2 is pi over 4. And that's what they're looking for when you're evaluating trig functions. Now let's look at inverse tangent of root 3. So inverse tangent, okay, of root 3. The idea in my mind I'm thinking of is what angle, tangent of what angle gives me root 3. Okay, that's the idea. And I know that pi over 6, or excuse me, pi over 3 gives me root 3. So that means inverse tangent, the angle measure that gives me root 3 is pi over 3. So there is my second answer. Okay, so let's look at a couple more examples. All right, so here are two more for you. So evaluate the inverse trig function, inverse cosine of negative 1. Okay, so the idea here is I need to find the angle measure where my cosine is negative 1. In parentheses there, it just means function notation. So I need to know what angle measure. Well, I know that cosine of pi, that gives me negative 1, and that's it. That's my answer. That's the angle that gives me cosine of negative 1, so the angle measure. So again, inverses, we're talking about angles here. The last one here, tangent of inverse tangent of 1 third. Now, if you think, that's not right on the unit circle. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is using our calculator here for this last one. Okay, and what you need to do here is use your tangent, our second tan. Okay, so second tangent is going to give me inverse tan, and I'm going to do 1 divided by 3, okay? And I get 0.3217, okay? So that answer is 0.3217, okay? Inverse tangent of 1 third. Okay, so some of these you're going to have to use your calculator for. You won't always have them right off the unit circle, okay? So I've got a couple more examples to show you. And this is about as hard as it gets with evaluating trig functions, inverse trig. Okay, so here's the idea. I have inverse sine of cosine of pi over 6. And so what I have to do here is the final answer is going to be an angle. But inside here, I've given the angle. So inside here, I need a coordinate. So let me rewrite this. So I have inverse sine. And this is a composite. I have one function that's in another. So let's go ahead and figure out, okay, what is the cosine of pi over 6? Now, cosine of pi over 6 on your unit circle is root 3 over 2. Okay, so now we have to think about, okay, what angle gives me a sine value that's root 3 over 2? And we know that sine of pi over 3, sine of pi over 3 gives me root 3 over 2. So the angle measure, inverse sine of root 3 over 2, what angle measure gives me root 3 over 2 is my answer? It's pi over 3. Okay, I got one more for you. Now this one's a little bit different. I want to put these side by side. Notice here I need an angle measure because the, the function on the outside is inverse. Notice here, there is no inverse on the outside. So this problem that I'm going to do, this last problem, actually is going to be a coordinate. So I'm going to look for a coordinate here. So I need to go ahead and rewrite this. So cosine of inverse tangent 
of negative one. Now, where does tangent equal negative one between negative pi over two and pi over two? Well, it's gonna happen at negative pi over four. So we're gonna have cosine of negative pi over four. Now, cosine is an even function, so cosine of negative pi over four is the same as cosine of pi over four, which becomes root two over two. Notice how this is a coordinate this time because we don't have inverse on the outside. The inverse, the angle measure we need comes inside, okay? Inverse tangent means I need an angle. Here's the angle, and I evaluate cosine of that angle, which gives me a coordinate. Okay, so that's several examples of just how to evaluate trig function, inverse trig functions. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.